This is Ray's Magnetic Torque Generator 6. After Generator 5, I wanted to make it self-resetting, and so I did some more addition to the... Here's the reset magnet, so it will reset on itself. You can watch number 5. This will all make more sense. And then I have a neutral bar coming across here, butted up against the firing power magnet here on the base. So we're going to start out to see what my input would be. Everything for an over unity effect is input to output ratios. So this is what I call input. So here's my, uh, my ounce gauge and I'll get her started here. And I do have some drag from the uh, little drive motor and just drag and inherent within inertia. We got her out of there. So we're out of the firing mechanism and we want to see what happens for my reset. So I'll come around here and uh, see if I can get my reset. Reset. Let me reset there. So we want to come around and see it fire. What's the scale? The very small input power, a little bit of drag, and so forth. I'm going to come over and see the firing portion of it. There it went. And that was the firing part. So we have it uh, back in the place where it has fired. And I'm going to start it up and we'll see the, uh, the generator and everything lighting up by itself. There we go. So we have it resetting from the reset magnet and from the firing magnet, the power magnet on the base, we're doing 49 LEDs. There's nine in each uh, flashlight there. So it doesn't take a lot to do a LED, but 45 of them, they're at least it's doing something. And how much is that? Well, if number five, we had uh, eight ounces of force. And we can show that. So here we have our magnet in the firing position. So we can see what the force is on that magnet coming down. So I hope it shows it up here on the. So I'll go back against that so anything more than what we saw originally by uh, taking it out of what's that six oh yeah eight there it went so about eight ounces of force and number five I think that was about 45 quarters a force coming down on there so the force on this little generator here when it fires is about 45 the weight of 45 quarters I want to uh, go over the principles that I think why this works so well as it does and this is because I've neutralized all the bars that way there's no interference when the uh, flapper magnet comes in between that magnetic field and this magnetic fields. So we can come in because these are magnetically neutral. And just turn that off. And 
Okay. So we have a, that's a half inch square by two inch, the power base magnet, which is the firing magnet. And yet, if we touch that magnet, there's nothing there. It is magnetically neutral. I don't want to get too close to that magnet because I have one hand on the mag uh, camera and if I get stuck on there, that's, that's the end of this video. Uh, so what's happening? Why is that? And if I'm real careful, I can come up on... <laughs> oh, there it is. So you can see there's a lot of force right there. And while it's in that position, I'll go ahead and and the one that's right against it, there's nothing there. So you can see there that the uh, the force is very strong. The magnet, I think, I think it's like a hundred pound pull off force or something like that. If you look it up on the uh, uh, table where they sell uh, the magnets, so you see the even this small magnet here I have, it's uh, really strong also. So I'll put that back in there and uh, oh yeah, I put it somewhere in there, up there. <laughs> so you can see that is definitely a strong magnet and yet these posts are magnetically neutral. So that's the reason why I think this is working so well because it keeps it from interfering those two magnetic fields. So what's happening? The neutral principle. When there is sufficient coverage of a north-south field, the resultant force is magnetically zero within the iron bar, which we just sh showed there. Like a tug of war, the rope goes nowhere, even though the opposing forces are still there. The, uh, there's no laws of physics broken here. There's one that says for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Where are those reaction and action forces on that uh, those bars. They're not showing up. They're magnetically neutral. Well, it's internal. Within this uh, bar structure, these two forces are opposing each other and they basically neutralize each other. They're just tugging at each other. So that means the outward manifestation is neutrality for the iron bar iron post. So that allows the flapper magnets to come in and exit without uh, very, very little effort. So that's what makes it. If you have uh, these uh, not magnetically, if you just put the magnets up there without the bars, you're going to have double the force coming in and it'll stick in here and you can't get it out. So it's incredibly amazing. So when you set this up, I have that little drive motor up here. I always have it uh, engaged because it gives a little bit of drag, which you need that. If you have this free floating here, the uh, magnetic forces, even if you have a magnet three foot away, it'll interfere with it. So you want to get that out of there. It's kind of a hindrance and uh, irritating at the same time. So a little bit of drag and that shows up on my scale a little bit too. So uh, there's a little bit of drag from the motor and so forth. So if you didn't have those elements in there, that would even show up better. So anyhow, uh, I want to show the how the system is set up here. I have my flapper magnet They're about an uh, inch and a half above and an inch and a half away. And then they fire from there. And this is a second story magnetics that I developed that if you get it too close together, then they, they, it won't work. This uh, here, if you notice, this north is actually uh, attracted to this north. And that shouldn't be north to north. But if you bring this down, then they will uh, uh, repel. And I call that first story. But in this upper area, in, uh, I've gone through that on other videos before, the north actually swings over this north. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. It'll take too long. So anyhow, you want to make sure you have your second story magnetics in there. 
So we'll start it up one more time and you can watch the firing. See the flapper firing? Reset. Fire. Reset. Hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy your day inventing and if you'd like to support the channel, see my buy me a coffee.